Hi, in this short tutorial, we're going to walk you through how to use the OpenAI integration inside roles to classify or tag tasks in a series of different use cases. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to have the OpenAI integration connected. The easiest way to do this is you go here to integrations on the top, you'll see the integrations gallery, start typing OpenAI, it will show up the OpenAI integration. And in this case, I already have the integration connected, but you could come here, add an integration, and then just paste your API key. Here we will link you to, to the OpenAI page where you can grab the API key. If you don't have an account, you can sign up and get your free API key. If you already have an account, then in settings, you can view the API keys and copy it there. After that's done, all of the functionality of OpenAI becomes available inside roles, meaning that you can start getting the power of ChatGPT directly in a spreadsheet to start automating a lot of these tasks. One of the most popular ways of using OpenAI inside a spreadsheet is to classify and tag text. This could be from customer survey responses, support tickets, from competitive research that you're doing. And that's quite easy to do with one of our formulas called classify OpenAI. So let's see how to do that. So the first thing that you want to do is how to explore these actions and how to import the data from OpenAI. Here in the actions panel, you can see all of the data imports that you can do inside rows. In this case, I copy pasted these surveys, but it could have added as a CSV, a, a different file, or you could have imported directly from, for example, your database or type form or one of the systems that you use to collect the data. And these are the integrations to do that. But what we're actually interested in here is to solve this with AI. Here with solve with AI, you get access to essentially all of the actions that you can do with OpenAI inside the rows. And you will see that one of them is to classify and tag text. And basically, the only thing that you need here is a prompt, which is the text that you want to classify, then the tags. So what should the output of this classification be? Is it one tag? Is it multiple tags? What should this look like? Then there's a parameter called multi-tag, which is do you want the output to just be one tag or can it have multiple tags? Like maybe if it's an NPS survey response, you want multiple tags. If you're just assessing if a social media comment is positive, negative, or neutral, you just want one tag. So this is what this parameter will be. And then the other three are more advanced parameters from OpenAI. The temperature is basically how creative you want the answers to the model to be. The max tokens is how much text output do you want in maximum for the model to output. Essentially here, since this is only tagging, it's not very relevant, but in some cases like generating text, this can be uh, a useful optional parameter and then the model is what model do you want to use from OpenAI. We'll set the default model in this case the default model is ChatGP 3.5 but you can actually with a custom value or with our picker pick different values. So let's see this in action. Let's see here in this example let's say that I want to tag this into a few different tags. You can see here how, how we're using the classify OpenAI formula to say the prompt is A2 and then these are the categories are the tags that I can classify this to. This is in the formula view. In the wizard view, it would be exactly what we just showed before. Oh, now I can just drag this down and you will see that we will apply this logic. See mobile here, the, the, the survey is about you know, accessing software for mobile devices. So the tag was mobile customization. So we'd apply the logic of the tags to the different responses. And you can see how this is fairly generic and you can use this in multiple ways. In this case, it's for a completely different type of company. So it's a food delivery company, in which case the tags are different, right? And so you see that even with some spelling mistakes, I just wrote foof here instead of food, it still understood what we wanted it to be, but I can also just directly copy it here. Same logic, I can just drag this down and using the formula to classify this. Now, since you're doing this inside the formula, something that's also quite helpful is you can reference other cells so let's say that the tags, you actually want them to be in a separate table for some reason. So you know, tags would be here. And now I want to type the tags here. What we can do is instead of referencing these manually, I can just point here to the cell. I can, I can lock this cell and I'll execute this. And this means that if I change the tags here, these will also be reflected below. If I add more tags, if I remove tags, but the same logic, I'm just drag it down and you see that now it's still referencing this cell. So this is one of the powers of having the flexibility of the spreadsheet to do these sort of automations. And just the final use case is with support emails. So this is quite often the case where you want to triage the emails based on some tags or what the customer is reporting to. So it's the same thing here. We want multiple tags and 
I have a bunch of a list here of tags using classifying OpenAI. It gets the data in. I can double click, drag it down, and that's it. And this is essentially it. So it, had, it is quite a simple formula, but that is very powerful to automatically use OpenAI and the GPT models to classify and to tag text. Very helpful for tasks in operations, in customer support, in project management, parsing information from customers, feature requests, etc. We use that all the time. And so I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial of that. For more information and documentation on OpenAI, you can come here to our documentation center. And if you start typing OpenAI, you will see a lot of different guides on how to use OpenAI for things like keyword research, SEO, sentiment analysis, but also a deep dive on using it to classify customer feedback, which touches on a lot of these points that we just saw. So thank you so much and good luck.